Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. This week I'm showing you a really cool thing that I just realized was even out there. It's a new tool from InstaWP that allows you to connect to your staging site. Well, first of all, create your staging site, but then connect it and then synchronize individual changes that you make. Like if you add a new page, you could literally synchronize that back to the live site and things like that. So this is really cool. I actually use InstaWP for our Divi Assistant sandbox where you can go and just play around and see all the settings for free. Like just see the, the plugin as if it was yours, like in the back end. And so I've been using it for that. And then I saw that they had this beta feature and I wanted to try it. So I'm gonna show you how it works. Now I'm not an expert on it, but I do wanna introduce you to it and show you because it's really cool. So I have the tutorial linked here, but it's really just screenshots and some simple steps that you can take. So what I'm gonna do is I have a temporary domain here, which is in my SiteGround account, and I'm gonna make a staging site off of that. Now, of course, since I'm using SiteGround, I, I already have a staging feature, but I wanna show you something specific. Um, but first, we have to make our staging site, and that'll be the, the first part of this tutorial, is just making it, and it's really, really, really simple. Um, so. Go to your plugins. In fact, let's do this. I already have it installed, but you can just type in Insta WP and that'll bring up the, the uh, plugin you need. I already have it installed, you can see. So it's Insta WP Connect. That's the, Insta WP is the site that's making like these instant um, sandboxes and staging and all that. So Connect is kind of the name for this. Uh, one click staging and migration. So I already have it installed. You can go ahead and install it. And then there will be this thing up here in the top. Um, you can go to like their shortcut to like create staging, staging sites, manage. Uh, I'm gonna click on that. So I already made one. I was playing around with it. So I'm gonna make another one. Now there will be a button here that says connect to your InstaWP account. Now you will need to do that. Now they, they do have um, free, I don't have a screenshot of that, but over on their website, you can choose a plan. And you know, I'm not even gonna show you because pricing plans change all the time. But basically they have, you can do the free version with three staging sites, but it doesn't have this synchronizing feature in the free version. So you will need to pay for this sync feature. But once you see it, you'll be like, yeah, I can see why it's a paid, a paid feature, it's so cool. Um, but you can do staging sites, three of them for free. So you will see a button here to connect to your account. And then once you're past that, once you're connected, you can see um, that your website is connected. That means to my account. So click the create staging site. And it's really simple. Gives you these nice little like um, steps here on the left. You can choose a quick staging and that's going to do everything it says without the media library. So keeps it, you know, as, as nimble as possible. Now there's full staging. That's gonna just take, make an exact copy of your site. And then there's custom staging and um, you'll be able to choose options for that. So I think I'm going to do, actually, you know what, for just this, I'm gonna do a quick staging. Now here you can choose, like, do I want the active plugins and themes only, or do I want like, so, okay, so for example, if I deselected that, the plugins that are inactive would also be included. Does that make sense? So if Divi is my active theme and I change that, then like the 2024 theme would also be included. So I only want, you know, Divi the active one. Here you can skip the media folder. You can skip large files. You can skip the log tables and those are pre-selected. Um, make sure you enable this, enable sync recording because we, we do want to do that in this particular tutorial. If you're not going to do it, that's fine. You can leave it. Um, deselect it, but let's go to the next step. Here it would be where you can exclude files and tables. You can expand this and it's all kind of checkboxes and tables, but um, we're gonna skip that. And this is just a confirmation screen. So just like that, we're done. Like we just selected the type and then here you can see the, these are the options that we chose. And then you can enter a site name. I'm gonna leave it blank because it's kind of funny. It creates like a random funny name and then create staging. And then this step, it's gonna take a few minutes. It depends, it depends how big your site is. This, this could vary from probably less than a minute to several minutes. And it's just gonna be in progress. You'll see the progress bar is going across here. And um, I'll skip ahead here. There you can see it went to 2%. Um, but yeah, we'll just sort of skip ahead here. 
All right, it was taking too long, so I aborted it. Um, it was just annoying me. I already have one made, so I'm just gonna use that. I will show you what would have happened. Um, basically, you know, the progress, and then you would have got a screen like this, and it says auto login. You'll get that. Um, yeah, my site was too big. It was just taking too long. I'm, I'm in a hurry. I'm ready to go to bed. Um, so auto login is just so cool because it literally opens a new tab and you're automatically logged into the WordPress dashboard of that staging site. It'll look exactly like the site that you're on, remember, it's just now it's a staging site. So when you click that, you'll see a thing like this for a few seconds and then we're back to where you can just view them. Now, if I click on this or this, you know, anything here, these, these will both log me into that staging site. You'll see that every time that you're opening um, an InstaWP site like this. All right, and then you'll come to you know the dashboard like normal. So what I want to do here is the there's a very important thing when you do this for the first time when you're doing the synchronization. Up here at the top, you can see their flashing thing. I don't think I like that, but um, the shortcuts. Let's go to actually I'm not sure. Is it wherever the setting is? I think it's under staging sites. No, it's under sync beta listening for changes i want to point this out because this is like the key to this turn this on this is going to be off so turn that on and it has to be on on the staging site because it's it's going to be listening for changes on the staging site so now if i go add a new page or i update a post or whatever i do like that it's going to be listening for it and then it will appear here in this list notice here that like I modified this page, I put a page title um, and you can see the status of it. Each one of these are separate events that happen on the staging site. And you can see here, this is the name of, if I had different sites connected, I guess, but this is the name of my live site. This is the URL. So I can sync these changes back to it, right? If I click sync all like this, and then it, it's just gonna confirm because I mean, it's kind of a kind of an important thing, right? Synchronizing these changes back, um, waiting for sync to start. See how there's there's it didn't start because I didn't push the button. Um, there's going to be six pages that are modified and two posts that are deleted. Um, I think I made some pages and delete them or so. I forget what I did, but anyway, um, it's just this nice confirmation screen for that. So I'll go ahead and click the sync button and that'll do its thing, syncing those um, eight events back to, well, they're pushing them back to the destination, to the live site. So you can see it completed, and, oh, so wait, wait, why were these, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm trying to figure out why these didn't do, I don't know. Again, I'm new to this too, I'm, I don't, I'm not an expert on this, but, I don't think it's doing it because it's deleted. It was a deleted auto draft. This auto draft was only on the staging site. So anyway, let's go do a change. And I don't know what all changes it will do. Uh, clearly if I add a new page, um, it's going to do that. So if I, all right. Let's publish that. And then since it's listening for this, it should see this as an event. All right, so that's published. Now let's see. Uh, I don't know if I have to refresh or what's this button here? Yeah, this is like a refresh button. So there, page modif page created, new page for tutorial, and then it was modified, probably just, probably creates it and then updates it. So let's, let's do these two. So let's select just these two and synchronize these back to this site. This will be cool because now I can show you on that site if it works. All right, so this thing completed. Let's go back now to here. Um, I guess it should be at the top of my pages. Or not at the top, but. Now, is it here? What did I say, new, what did I call it? New page for tutorial, <laughs> that is, there it is. That is so crazy. Um, I That is so crazy. I didn't have to wait like 10 minutes to synchronize the whole site back. And that's why I'm excited about this, because that's, I feel like that's the main feature, this like, this synchronization of events, rather than the whole site, and just the nice user interface. 
Um, I really am enjoying InstaWP. Like I said, I'm, I'm using it for a sandbox site. So if you're over on Divi Assistant's product page, right here, see how it says Instant Admin Demo? That will literally open up technically a staging site from InstaWP and it's like a, it's a little different, but it's it's set up as, as a templated staging site. Um, and basically I can go in there and set like the, the, we'll call it like the parent site. And then every time you click on this, it's making a clone of that parent site, if that makes sense. It's kind of like the live site and then it's taking it from there, but the live site also is a staging site in that case. It's kind of cool because um, I can like, let's say I have an update to the plugin. Um, I can install that on like the parent site. And then every time you click this, it will always be like that new site, but it will be your own and it will, it'll be a brand new site, um, totally fresh with Divi and Divi Assistant installed and it will expire like after an hour. So that's all stuff I can do with um, InstaWP. So anyway, that was my first like encounter with this product. Um, and then I saw this beta feature and I was like, I have to try it and I have to share that with you. I do have a different uh, tutorial, like kind of explaining more of like why you would use staging sites for testing updates and, you know, checking for problems. And um, there's, yeah, there's some really practical reasons to have a staging site for any of your websites. Anytime you wanna change something, you're like, you wanna add this code snippet that you found, you know, on the dark web somewhere and you, you know, you don't want it to, to paste it and it breaks everything. You could try it on a staging site and that way, you know, if it breaks it well, you know, you can synchronize the live to staging or make a new one rather than lose your live site. It's kind of things like that, test updates, uh, major updates on staging, things like that. And then you'll know if you have the exact uh, condition over there that it's safe. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, definitely let me know. Um, and yeah, we'll see you all in the next video.